Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Michiko underscore 27. Happy spooky season. Happy Halloween. I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite horror movies. Not a fan of horror. Um, then don't watch this video. So. Number five is... Stephen King's Sleepwalkers and We Summon the Darkness. We Summon the Darkness is a 2019 horror thriller movie. It's about a group of friends who travel across the country to go to a rock concert. But one of them, unbeknownst to one of those friends, that her other two best friends are actually satanic cult killers. They kill people who worship the devil because they think it's wrong and not pure. Um, take that with a grain of salt. It's a pretty good film. And along the way, they end up kidnapping a band and pretty much tries to use them as a sacrifice. Now, Stephen King, if you have seen any Stephen King movie, you know it's going to be good. Now, Stephen King's Sleepwalkers is about a young man named Charles and his mother. They move from town to town because they're sleepwalkers. They're aliens, but they call themselves sleepwalkers. They feed on cats and they feed on people's souls to survive and Charles has seen his new victim his victim his name is Tanya little does Tanya know that Charles is not who he says he is now I like this movie I grew up watching this movie but only issue I had with this movie was the sexual in incest incest incestuous relationship between the mom and the and her son that's disgusting Stephen King what were you thinking that's fucking gross um, but anyway it's a good movie highly recommend you check it out it's from 1992 um yeah guys if I look you know if I look a certain way uh, it's hot outside and it's sweaty despite it being October, but you know, it's whatever. Coming in at number four, Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Now these movies date back all the way, I believe, to the 80s and the 90s. Johnny Depp is also in one of these films. Nightmare on Elm Street is about this nightmarish monster named Freddy Krueger. He kills you in your sleep, and then you pretty much die in real life. Now, if you have seen any of these Nightmare on Elm Street movies, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. But, yeah, those are pretty good movies also. Um... Number three is Scream, Scream slash Child's Play, also known as Chucky. They also have a TV show coming out. They also have a TV show. Um, yeah. So, Chucky, Child's Play is about a killer doll named Chucky who traps his soul in... A doll of a dead serial killer, Charles Lee Ray. Charles Lee Ray was a serial killer. He trapped his soul into a doll named Chucky. And Chucky becomes this killer doll, trying to resurrect his soul. Now, my favorite one is Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky is pretty good. Seed of Chucky is pretty good too, but I like Bride of Chucky better. <laughs> Scream. We all know Scream. Scream. This is another like serial killer look. Serial killer. 
who goes around trying to kill Sidney Prescott, played by Courtney Cox. Literally, like, this character, he tries to kill her in every single movie, but he doesn't. He always ends up not being successful. So, if you grew up watching any of these movies, let me know, because I did. And most of these movies are from the 90s. Number two. This is another favorite movie of mine, Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods is about these people who uh, put other people in like this creepy ass cabin in the woods and they go through all these like different monsters and creatures in this, you know, messed up cabin environment. They pretty much test them to see if they can survive, you know, and no, oh, uh, the existence of the human race and all that come into play. That was nice, I guess. So, Cabin in the Woods, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Alrighty, number one, I will put some honorable mentions when I upload this video, but number one is the Halloween movie franchise. Now, are any of you surprised that I put this at number one? I'm not. I, again, I grew up watching all of these movies. Literally, Halloween, number one. Also, let me know if you've seen Halloween Kills or Halloween Ends that came out in the last couple of years. I will be watching them. And, uh, yeah, like, th these movies have been out since the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and early 2000s, and this movie franchise has been going on for decades, and but it finally ended with the movie Halloween Ends. Michael Myers gets what he deserves in the end. Laura finally fucking kills him. So I will be watching those two. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Happy spooky season, and I'll see you in the next one. The next one, I'm going to do another dark lip tutorial. If you are, you know, a part of that alternative grunge subculture, or if you just want a dark lip to wear for Halloween. See you in the next one.